Oh, this is this is a home run. I love this one. <laughs> he is in love, y'all. I love that one. I love that one. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy. I'm back. Darren, the Voltile Fragrance Guy. And I know that you guys can already see that it's brighter <laughs> in here today. It's not just because of the ring lights. I actually brought a ray of sunshine with me today. She is back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Can we clap real quick? <laughs> Thank you. I brought the sunshine with me today. <laughs> this is a special video, so I had to bring on a special person. None other than Mrs. Bowtie. Thank you, guys. It's been a minute. I miss y'all, but you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. I That's right. Busy, so. This is going to be a special video because I have some new fragrances from Argos. And guys, if these fragrances are anything like the previous releases from this brand that I know that not only we are going to be in for a treat, but you guys are going to be in for a treat as well, because the fragrances that I have from the previous collection are absolute standout. All of the fragrances and Miss Bowtie has smelled those fragrances herself. So I'm pretty sure she yes. can kind of attest to that. I'm so excited about smelling these. Let's get it going. Uh, sorry. <laughs> let me ask you really quickly from his previous collection. Um, which one do you think is your favorite? Ooh wee. See, I didn't scream. See, that's different, right? You said, ooh wee. Oh my gosh. I think Adonis, I think, but I can't remember all the other. How many do you have? I can't remember. Like, about five. And well, I don't Adonis remember Adonis Yeah, that's and my favorite. There's another one that's. Danae. Uh, there we go. That and one. And Danae. Those well. are. Yeah. And then Triumph for Bacchus. Those three are so good. All the other ones are good as well. But when you have fragrances that are that great, yeah, it's hard to choose. It's hard to choose. So, anyway, guys, we have. Five fragrances. We're going to be actually unboxing and really smelling these for the first time mm. with you guys. So I wanted to make sure Miss Bowtie was here because one of these fragrances, Birth of Venus, is actually a female marketed fragrance. So I wanted to make sure she was here for that. Yeah. But you'll be able to get the male perspective as well as the female perspective on these fragrances. So I'm going to get out of your way. We're going to run the intro. And when we come back, we're going to get all into these new releases from the brand of Argos. So if you want to see what we have on the list, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into this video. Let me say this before we start with the fragrances. I am going to include my code in the description as well as I'm going to pin the comment. You guys can get 10% off of anything from the old collection as well as the previous collection. And I'm going to flash my code here across the screen. Now, the great thing about Argos is this, guys. You can actually use ShopPay. And I say that because instead of you spending all of that money at one time, unless you're balling, like do what you got to do. <laughs> but listen, these are niche fragrances, so they're more expensive. Yeah. But if you want to use the shop pay option, you can divide these payments up into four. So that way you can still get the fragrance, enjoy it and make it more affordable mm -hmm. and more effective from a cost perspective. So I did want to make sure before we got into the fragrances that I did mention that. So make sure you click on the link, use the code. If you want to buy anything from the previous collection or these. So I'm excited. Let's just go ahead and get into this. I don't know where to start. How about let's start either. with the birth of Venus because okay. I took the rest of them out of the packaging because it, it they are so well packaged. It would they take are. time on camera, yeah. but I could not take all of them out of the packaging because I had to let you guys see presentation means a lot. Oh. What, what would you say about this presentation? Oh, this is so princess like. Well, it matches your dress like. too. Yes, queen like. <laughs> I, I mean, a nice little bow here, mm -hmm. pretty gold. Then you got a nice card with the the, note, the notes all listed here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know that I've seen. I almost don't want to open it any better than this. So it looks like a big bar of chocolate is gonna be on the inside. <laughs> of that. Right? Like the ones that we used to the sell. Diaper. And um, well, I know I'm talking about. I went all the way back to the one the fundraisers in school. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Chocolate> <laughs> But yeah, that was almost like a diver stuff too. Nice. So very nice. So let me get it, see if we can get this in the camera, guys. Look at this packaging. Yes. Beautiful. I know the lighting is going to play off 
kind of weird with this gold. Because of me. But it's beautiful. There's a beautiful bow on the front yeah. um, here. It's going to be hard to see. Yeah. There's a beautiful bow here on the front. There we go. And a ribbon around it. Then you have the mm -hmm. card here with the name of the fragrance. Then the fragrance notes are on the box as well. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it uh, so we can get into the fragrance. But I did want you guys to see how beautiful these fragrances are packaged. Because to me, nice. presentation from yeah. how it's shipped mm -hmm. to the bottle to the box, all those things do play a role. So let's go ahead and get into Birth of Venus. This is the female okay. marketing fragrance. Hold all on to right. that. If you don't mind. Beautiful card. We're going to get into the fragrance. So we're going to just tell you guys what we think about uh, the fragrance, the first impressions here. Oh, let's look at the, you guys, there's the card. Very good graphics there, too. There you go, Ms. Bowtie. Keep them entertained. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I haven't been here in so long, I don't know what to do. But uh, I definitely miss you guys. How about the birth of Venus, ladies? The V, okay? What's the saying? Men what? are from, women are from Venus and men are from Mars. There you go. So that may have been the inspiration. It all it starts to make sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> it does. So are you excited to smell this new fragrance? Oh, let me see what the notes, can I tell them go about ahead. the notes? All Talk right, so it. top notes are going to be bergamot, peach, orange, grapefruit, osmanthus, and lavender. Ooh, it has yes, osmanthus in, in here. It. I Ooh. love osmanthus because a lot of times osma osmanthus is kind of like apricot, so it gives off this kind of Next. creamy, almost like milky type of nuance. Oh, creamy, yeah. almost like, you know, not like sandalwood, but it's it's, it's kind of a milky. It's really sensual and mm. sexy. Here is the box right here. You guys can see that. Yep, mm. Birth of Venus. Again, packaging is beautiful on these fragrances, man. Check out the back of the box right here. Just, again presentation is second to none so let's go ahead and get into the fragrance heart notes narcissus 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 jasmine tuberose violet iris raspberry oh wait guys rose and chocolate this is mm, going to be very be interesting yummy. guys it comes in a box like this and the fragrance will rest very securely in this box the reason like keepsake boxes don't throw these type boxes away mm -mm. all right so here's the fragrance so let's get into the smell i'm excited man huh? ah. base notes amber vetiver cedar labdanum now how would we say that my source my source sandalwood my source sandalwood cashmere wood. sprayer hmm this is a lot nice sprayer like Nice, Miss. So you, I'm gonna let you do the honors because this right. is a female marketed fragrance. Let me do the honors here. Oh, I already smell it. Oh, do you? I yes. don't smell it yet, y'all. Okay, okay. Mm. All right, here we go. Woo. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was coming. Um. Oh, this is so. I smell it over this here. This is I don't pretty really and edible. Mm. Okay, I'm saying edible because I really do, it, I can smell. It has those it, hormone tendencies to it. I smell it over here. Yeah. Mmm. Yes, man. Oh, wow. You see that? Okay, yep, you go for it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, no, for me, it. and, and it, it, you guys know and probably remember, I'm, I am very picky about things. Um, especially darker notes, like sometimes amber in the presentation could be like, ugh to me, or it's, too overbearing, but it's the notes are balanced so well. Mm. Yeah, that smells really good. good. Mm. I mean, I could uh, it's definitely a female leaning fragrance. Mm -hmm. Maybe a guy could potentially pull this off, maybe the right scenario, but it's definitely it, you know, those florals in here. Yeah. The uh narcissus, the jasmine, the, especially that tuberose. Yeah, tuberose. You um, know I love tuberose. So for me, and I love all things tuberose. So but I mean that's oh, not the so only good, floral man. in there, but of course it's it's meshing very well with the other florals too. So. so the first impression on this one, ladies, if you want something that is sensual, mm -hmm. has this. It has like to me again that sweetness, a kind back. of gourmand feel to it. Mm -hmm. So I really like that about this fragrance. Here you go. I just want to um, check it out. Loud. So I, ladies, I definitely say, jump on this. Jump on this. It is. It's awesome. It's, it's what I would honestly what I expected. The other <laughs> fragrances are so good from this brand. Seriously. 
I wouldn't honestly expect anything less. And that one met my expectations for a female marketing person. Definitely for me, too. Definitely for me, too. Because you love tuberose. Oh, she loves tuberose. I love tuberose. And um, to see the chocolate kind of scared me at first. The chocolate and the amber. And... Um, mm. That chocolate is blended so mm. well. It's not like overly chocolatey. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to rock this. Oh, All man. Is this a date? I think that's a great date night fragrance for ladies. It's great. Okay. okay. So we're one for one. Yeah. That is Birth of Venus. All right. So where do we go next? <laughs> now, this next fragrance, this is one. I would say this is pronounced Namine Leon. Mm. And not lion, the mean leon, I, I don't or know. lion, or because it could be lion. A lion right you know, here. Sometimes we try to get too fancy. That's it. Too mean lion That's or true. leon. You know, Christian, <laughs> let me know the pronounced correct uh, per, correct pronunciation. But here's the box. The mean lion. <laughs> here's the box. Check it out. So he is, you know, wrestling a lion on the front. Yeah. So that's probably what the name of it is. So let's get into this one. So just off of the, the graphic alone, I mean, that's like a monster. It sounds like this is going to be a monster fragrance. Now, this one is Big. normally uh, sold out, too. Let me say that. Oh. So I think he said they're producing some more. This one is harder to find. This is coming in a 30 ml, but it's normally hard to find this one. Um, oh, it's usually sold out. But that usually is an indicator of how good it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do we have in this one before we spray it? We got citrus, Scottish pine, labdanum, oak moss, clary sage, coriander, jasmine, pink peppercorn, juniper berries, amber, mysore, sandalwood, leather, and musk. So sounds like a masculine. Very. Classic. <laughs> it has that lavender in there. Of course, I like the box on this one. This comes in a brown That's box. Nice. This is a 30 ml. That's nice. Where the other ones are 100 mls. So let's give it a spray. And I'm all, I'm gonna let you do the honors first today. Although okay. I'm spraying these and I can smell it from across the room, so. Yes, let me do the honors. There you go. Okay. Give me that female perspective. Oh boy, it's a lot of masculinity in here, y'all. Oh so yeah. Let me see. That is like an animalic leather. I smell like, I smell like oud is in here. Oh, this is. This smells like oud. Mm. Okay, yeah. She's not a fan of oud, all right? I of oud it's just the way let's correct that i love oud but it's got to be a smooth silky oud okay it's got to be balanced with some but this is rawr that's what this is it's a lion <laughs> that's why it's, <laughs> it's a lion it's a lion what so i know that the name is lion now it's Ooh, a lion yes so Go that, for it. ladies know on this one but for you fragrance of connoisseurs <laughs> out there you men you masculine dudes that you love a really masculine yeah. Fragrance, you are going to love yes. this. Mm -hmm. It has animalic qualities, hint, lion. Okay. All right. So a, a lot so of that, strong. those masculine notes, that <laughs> Scottish pine, you definitely get that pine in the opening. The oak moss. Of course, the main note to my nose is leather. Leather For and sure. musk. Yeah. And must very masculine fragrance smells phenomenal. This is going to be for the niche Ooh. connoisseurs out so there. So smelling it from right here, like when I had it right here, it was like, whoo! Right here yeah. though, I smelled the sexy when it was from right I, here. It's, it's going to be I a sexy project. fragrance. Yeah, it, I definitely felt the sexy from there. It's I going to be it. a yeah. sexy one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. We cover our eyes. You can see the bottle. <laughs> see, I, I moved down a little bit. There we go, guys. Bottle presentation on these That's are beautiful. absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So we're two out of two, but that is going to be for the people that really lion. like a ma very, very masculine, <laughs> you know, fragrance. Again, leather, yeah. oak moss, um, Scottish pine. This is a, a very gentlemanly fragrance, but it does have animalic qualities to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do we have next here? I'm going to butcher some of these Phaeton. names. Fall of Phaeton. I think that's the name I of think it. we got it right. Here's your box. All right here. Here's the back. Oh man, this the graphics on these boxes are so everything. Christian does such a good yeah. job with the presentation, man. Everything is so well thought out and so top quality on presentation. Um, we shown you a box, Another so you've seen box. the boxes. They all have a very similar, of course. Look, the color differs a little bit. So let's see. I'm gonna let you read the notes on this one. Okay, sounds um, good. Let's find the card for it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead and read the notes while I get a test strip. All right, guys. So the top notes are going to be bergamot, lemon, pink peppercorn, 
cardamom and ginger hmm interesting i love ginger in fragrances uh the heart notes are labdanum lavender and argarwood oh Base. so we do have a little oud in this one yeah Base notes are musk, leather, tonka bean, and vanilla. Now, why I'm excited about this is oh, because it's got tonka bean and vanilla. I already smell it. And lavender. Like, I'm just pointing out stuff I like. Now, what is it good? Oh, oh, I touched my mic, y'all. And the ginger. You already smell it? The, go ahead. But I, I, I mean, I, yeah, I can smell it. They're, they're, <laughs> I think these are what? Wait a minute. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Ooh, this either EDPs, but you can mm, smell it jumps off fresh. The but you know what? The argo wood is this is good. Like you said, ooh, this, it's not it's not overbearing. It's perfect. Great balance. I can smell it I from need, here. Yeah, it smells great. I like that. So far, this is my Ginger? favorite. Really? I mean, I like the well, female marketed one as well. That I, for women, mm -hmm. but this is really good. <laughs> It's something about it that oh, reminds that freshness. me of... What is that? The citrus is in the opening? Bergamot and lemon. I love that opening. Then you have that spiciness. I smell that cardamom. And then ginger. I love ginger. So that's giving like a very <laughs> uplifting um, feel to this fragrance in the opening. The ginger here. This is phenomenal. This is this a home run. This has got a good, fresh... It, when I say fresh, I mean it's... Man. It's the Ar oh, yeah, yeah, but it's the leather. It's not leather, but it's the argan wood that... It's coming off so fresh. It's something about this is super fresh. I love lavender, it. Lavender, maybe. The lavender and also and the ginger. wood. Yeah, the ginger and the mix with the wood is great. This is, oh, yeah. it is so such a unique scent DNA, and that's <laughs> what I love about this. This is good, man. Mm -hmm. I do pick up the sweetness as well, the top of mm -hmm. and vanilla yes, dry me. down. Yeah. Now, guys, if you don't like oud, don't be afraid of this one because it's no. not, you don't, I mean, the oud is serving, is giving us some character, mm -hmm. but it's not like anomalic in any way. Right. You know? That's what I was trying to, that's it's what I was trying to communicate. It's blended so well. It's almost just it. giving a slightly, maybe that's a combination of the oud and leather, almost just a slight smokiness to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, this is a home run. <laughs> I love this one. He is in love, y'all. I love that one. I love that one. I absolutely love that one. I'm gonna make yeah, a little room here. The Tonka here. and the, um, yeah, the Tonka. I love that one. Yeah, that's great. All right. That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, so we have two more here, guys. Um, we'll save that yeah. one for last because that's oh. an extra straight. Okay. So the What's next this? one Love Triumphs Over War. Oh. Let me show you, quickly show you this box. Uh, okay. There we go. Got the box in there. So let's get into the fragrance. Yeah, you put it inside. Okay. So babe, you do the honors of All reading right. the notes Love while I get to spraying. Oh, oh, we. I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna wear this. All right. So check this out. Top notes are bergamot, lemon, rose, black mm. currant, orange, tuberose, and raspberry. Now, you guys, the middle notes, the heart notes, okay? Stop touching my mic. Violet clove is in here. That's interesting. Geranium, gardenia, iris, lang lang, cinnamon bark. Interesting. Again, base notes amber, white musk, patchouli, <laughs> vanilla. You're not supposed to smell it while this I'm. This is insane. My, uh, my sore, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. I'm scared. Here you go. Look, while you're smelling, let me show them the bottle. I'm go scared. ahead. Yeah. I'm go oh wait a minute. It does not smell like that. I haven't put it to my nose yet. Wait a minute, y'all. Stop! <sighs> Ooh, I smell nice. it right here. Girl. This is good. Girls, I smell it. Okay. This is good. I definitely say the most unisex one of all, but that is good. That's good. I don't have no words right now. What? How? How is the question? Why is Tamar Braxton playing in the back of my head? <laughs> Love and war. <laughs> this is perfect, right? Yeah. And also, I mean, they were on the it's good. big news today. Um, it's good. Yeah. Oh, mm. Male or female. I can't contain myself it. on this. Get it. Get it. Buy it. Oh. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. I don't even have to talk about the rest of the stuff with it. 
Uh, so read the notes. This is it for from for me. Buy it. For for out of wait, are we love done? Oh, we got, one, we got more. one more. Love triumphs over war. Mm. Buy it. This it's that is, simple. It's the one. This is the one to start it's with. It's that simple. It's the one to start with. Male or female. Start with this. It's that simple. Look, we neither one of us. We're telling them it's so simple. It's good. This is the one to get. But it's really hard to formulate how good this is. Well, like, again, I don't. I'm not gonna try. <laughs> get it. Um, okay. the last one, I say this for last because this is Triumph of Bacchus. This is the straight. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's very similar to the original DNA. Um, you know, so I wanted to do the new brand, brand new scent formulas first and then go to this one. I do love the change of the bottle, man. It comes in this white box. Let me show them this bottle real quick. Check the bottle out. That white plaque on the front this is just beautiful guys it's gorgeous stuff guys you can just everything about these fragrances from the quality of the juice itself the outer matches the inner you know they say beauty is only skin deep yeah, you know yeah, but, yeah. but this is outside and inside just gorgeous stuff mm. uh with these fragrances so let me see do i have a card on this one i'm still stuck on this what's the guy's name that, that make christian that? christian you did your thing on this one right here but i'm gonna move on okay Read the note. You can read the notes all while. Oh, all man, right, Triumph for Bacchus. This is the big straight. Big straight. All, all right. right, top notes. All right, top notes. Saffron, white peach, green apple, rum notes. Heart notes are going to be patchouli, jasmine, tonka bean, and vetiver. Mm, this is going to be nice too. Base is going to be tobacco, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Okay, so we're. Ex I'm excited about. Oh gosh, now really, I'm not ready to clear my nose from that last one. It was so good. You already smell it? Yeah. <laughs> my turn. Oh, 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 this is good too. I'm shaking in my chair. <laughs> wow. Okay, The what's in here again? Oh, that it's- from white peach, green apple. It's that green wrong. apple that's popping, okay? Mm. And the tonka bean. It's the green apple and the tonka bean. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Oh. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if he changed anything note wise it's or just, just made it a, a more a, a higher concentration of oil, maybe. It's good. Guys, you're going to be so safe. Good. Whatever you choose to do, uh, the only one I would say is a little bit more of an acquired taste is the. Uh, the na na the, the uh, mean, the mean the lion, lion. Uh, or if probably fancy Leon. Listen, okay, right, listen. Yeah. So because that <laughs> does have an animalic tinge to it, but I think the gentlemen in the niche kind of sort are going to love that fragrance. It smells really good. But the rest of these, as far as just like mm. the birth of Venus, is going to be great for ladies. Yes. And the Beautiful. other three, buy them. Can't go wrong. See, and again, the only thing I say about the the the, the, uh, the mean Leon is just because I know some people they that is not one of those ones that everybody's probably going to gravitate to because everybody doesn't like fragrances that have an animalic touch I to feel it. Like if you, but it yeah. does smell phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But the other for women, Birth of Venus, get it. For everybody else in the world, especially the guys, the other three, buy it. This, buy it, buy it, buy what, it. Whatever triumph. What does it say? Love triumphs over war. Over war. This then. Masterpiece. That has that's resonate with me today for the rest of the day. Masterpiece. Mm. Masterpiece. Mm. Listen, I, like I said. Okay. Bravo. Hand clap for Christian. I honestly wouldn't expect anything less from wow. him because of the other fragrances, and he told me that these were going to meet my expectation, and I, I honestly, wholeheartedly yes, agree one hundred percent that these fragrances met my expectation. I mean. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say yet whether I like any of these better than Adonis Awakens or Danae. I gotta really spend some time, but they are up there with those. I will tell you that right now. Quality, scent profile. You got unique fragrance DNAs. This just bravo. Mm, bravo, 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 bravo. For sure. Bravo. Christian did send these to me, but again, this is our honest first yeah. impressions on these fragrances. Mm -hmm. You know, again, if you guys want to try anything out, make sure you click the link. Mm. Uh, that I'm going to have and use my code, get your 10%, use the shop pay to make it more affordable for yourself. But everything was an absolute pleasure 
to my nose. Mm -hmm. You got any closing remarks? I'm just very impressed. And I say that because I've smelled them. I've smelled some of the fragrances before, mm -hmm. but to smell this many at one time and how much quality is there. Sure. It's amazing. So that's it. All right, guys. Well, Miss yeah. Bowtie, thank you for coming. I'm going to try to get you back on here more often. Now we're going to have welcome. things in our normal lives slowing down a little bit. So hopefully I'll be yes. able to get her back on uh, <laughs> here uh, more like we used to do in the past. But as always, guys, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, on the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I'm your lady, Mrs. Bowtie. That's right. We love looking good and smelling amazing. Thanks. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.